Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things and in today's video I'm testing out a couple makeup products that I have received in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. The biggest uh, excitement for me is definitely the Venice Fling palette that Estate Cosmetics did in collaboration with Balisarian that looks like this. I will say that I did mention in my unboxing video that if my BoxyCharm came before I did this video, I would unbox it in this video. However, it never came, which means either my box got lost in the mail or I was kicked off PR. Honestly, I'm not really caring either way at this point. Sometimes uh, getting all those subscription services in at once can be a little overwhelming anyway. So I'm really excited to show you guys which products from Ipsy I will be testing out in this video and what I liked and what I didn't like. So if that's something you guys are interested in seeing, then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, so the first product I'm going to use today is a primer. This one actually came in the July Glam Bag Plus, but I never got around to trying it, and it's the Ciate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. I don't think I've tried a primer from Ciate before. This one's very interesting looking, like it has little black beads in it or something. I don't know, I really don't know much about this. It says it instantly refreshes and moistures before makeup application. Featuring watermelon extract droplets to quench and hydrate, the pink jelly base actively brightens whilst refining pores. Delicately watermelon scented, this unique aqua serum primer grips foundation for long wear and added glow. Kidoki. I'm trying to think of the last time I really tried something new from Ciate. I feel like a lot of their launches don't necessarily get me super excited, so. I was actually excited. Actually, the, the actual like, texture of this packaging is very satisfying because it's squishy. So let's pump it out. There we go. Okay, so I do see like one little blip of the like black watermelon stuff, so. Yeah, I don't know if it like, it doesn't seem to like mix in when I blend it, but oh yeah, this is, this smells very watermelony, but it doesn't smell like, I can be kind of sensitive to very intense watermelon smells. Like I don't really like when something smells like I'm rubbing a Jolly Rancher on my face necessarily, but that actually felt like nice and hydrating. It almost has kind of like an oily consistency, I wanna say. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the rest of my base makeup and then I'll come back and I'm very, very excited to use the Estate Bailey Serian Venice Fling palette and I'm going to use this for both my eyes and like my face like products, so I'm excited. Okay, so really quick, I'll go over everything on my face. I feel like my makeup is sitting on top of that primer really well so far. So for foundation, I went in with the L'Oreal Freshwear and I concealed with the Uma Beauty Stay Woke Concealer. On my eyes, I did prime with the MAC Paint Pot. I set my face with the Physicians Formula Healthy Powder. For brows, I used the Urban Decay Brow Blade and the Essence Make Me Brow. And then for eyeliner, I have this Bare Minerals Around the Clock Midnight Eyeliner on my waterline. And now we can get into the moment we've all been waiting for, the Bailey Sarian palette. So I know I'm like a very much a neutral girl, but for some reason, I want to wear this purple today. So I feel like that is where my vibe is gonna be. And I'm also gonna try to use some of these for like blush bronzer and maybe highlight. These pans are very, very large. So that should be pretty easy to do. That's satisfying. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the shade Your Tan Lines in the crease and I'm going to use this just Morphe blending brush I have. And I just kind of envision the purple all over my lids, which again, who am I? I don't like purple. Actually, we should try an experiment. I'm gonna FaceTime Scott. Hi, this is a experiment. What color do I not like? Purple. Thank you. That is all. I don't really like purple. <laughs> like I wasn't kidding. But for some reason, I think I... I saw Heather Austin wearing this purple shade and it looked so good on her. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I need to uh, open up and try out purple. I feel like that shade tan lines blended out really well. Now, I'm a very pale skin tone, so I don't know how that would work on everyone, but it worked for me. So I'm gonna go in with roller skates here and I'm gonna use my finger. I know she said you can use them with a wet brush, but I'm just like a finger girl. Ooh, that's really pretty. 
Oh, this is so not like me to just throw purple all over my eyelid. Who am I? Actually, I'm gonna go in. So I know I've mentioned it before on my channel, but I technically could have met Bailey when I went to Ipsy Live last year. I was literally standing right next to her and I chickened out because I got too shy. <laughs> but uh, she looked lovely. I know other people who did meet her said she was very nice. I am just a big chicken. I have so much fallout. Holy moly. That shade gave me a lot of fallout. I think I have way too much on my finger and now I have a lot of purple. But it seems to mainly brush away, which is good. I'm just trying to blend it into the crease with the tan line shade. I haven't decided if I wanna do a lower lash color or not yet. Hmm, what do we think? I've been really into just like upper lid eyeshadow lately and naked under the eye. Now I know it's not the world's greatest review using two eyeshadows out of a nine pan palette, but I think that looks really nice. I might go in with a tiny bit just to intensify where I blended it maybe a little too much. I think I'm good with that. I think I'm good with that. Is it something I'd want to add eyeliner with? Maybe. Hmm. You know what? I feel like we all know eyeliner would probably ruin it. While I think about eyeliner, I'm going to go and try and use tan lines as a bronzer. This is the Complex Culture Bronzer Blush. I also actually got this in an Ipsy bag a couple months ago. I definitely think this shade works as a bronzer for me. I really... I'm curious what brand is going to reach out to Bailey to do a really cool like murder mystery makeup collab because I mean I feel like brands would be crazy not to reach out to her with an offer at this point in her career like she's just like the queen of that. I'm really starting to think that eyeliner would be okay. I'm gonna go in with this BH Cosmetics 126 brush. Hmm. I think I'm gonna try Toasty as a blush but I really feel like you could mix any of these three and blush it up. Oh yeah, it's a little pigmented because it's an eyeshadow, but we can blend it out. I'm gonna go back in with the bronzer blush, bronzer brush. Now, this shade Ocean Avenue here in the middle, let me see what it looks like. Hmm. I don't think I could personally use that as a highlighter and that's fine. I don't always need a highlight. Like, I actually feel like a little glowy, which might honestly be the primer because the the stay fresh is not like a glowy foundation okay i'm going to use this eyeliner this is from seraphine botanicals it's their liquid cool eyeliner i'm going to try to do a little other eyeliner to go with this purple eye look and i'll be right back we got a little bit of wingage going on not the best not the most even but i feel like it looks really good with the purple it gives me like witchy halloween vibes i'm all about that also, I'm pretty sure you can tell that my foundation is not matching my chest perfectly right now. I did put on some self tanner this morning, so I'm in the process of developing, so I just am never matching. So what's new? Really quick, I don't know why I didn't do this when I did my eyeliner, but I'm going to set my face with the All Nighter Spray. I'm going to throw on some Thrive Mascara. And then I'm really excited for this. This is from INN Beauty Project, and this is their lip oil. And I guess the shade is Glaze Number no. 1. This smells like a candy apple. Like, it smells so good. So both of these were uh, two of the three items I chose as my, like, choice items this past month. And I chose this one because I've heard Lauren May Beauty, like, rave about these. Mmm. Uh, that's really nourishing, I feel like. Mmm. And that's... That candy smell is so good. Like, I don't always like fruity scented makeup. Like, I'm not crazy about the fruity scent of the Fenty lip glosses, but like this one, that one hits the spot. So there you have it. That is my full face of testing out some new Ipsy stuff. Honestly, I would say everything was awesome. I really liked the primer. I really liked the lip oil. I really love the palette. Like, I'm not much of a purple girl, but like, I'm feeling myself right now. You'll definitely have to let me know if you guys got any of these products in your Ipsy bags and how they worked out for you. Definitely let me know in the comments. 
And as usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys!